Hello friends, my name is George. I hope you are doing well. And today's video is a continuation of our exploration with the SIM 800L GSM module. You may also watch the previous video to give you a brief introduction. Links could be found in the top right side of this video and in the description. Here, we will further our explorations by testing the voice call capability. And to make it simple, we will use the serial terminal of Arduino IDE by sending 80 commands to perform voice call functions such as make a call to a certain mobile number or answer an incoming voice call. And I will also demonstrate how to cancel or terminate any call in progress. I will also demonstrate sending and receiving of SMS to help beginners like me to better understand SIM 800L GSM module with less effort of research. Here, our demo circuit is already prepared. So the SIM 800L TX is connected to digital pin 2 and the SIM 800L RX is connected to digital pin 3. The BCC and the ground is connected to 5 volts and the Arduino ground. I also added a speaker as a sound output and a small microphone for the sound input. As a disclaimer, please make sure to follow the SIM 800L datasheet. I am not liable for any damage you may incur following this tutorial. In other words, only apply a 3.4 to 4.4 volts to SIM 800L BCC pin and provide a level converter to SIM 800L RX pin. A voltage divider circuit using a resistor should be enough to make it a 3.3 volts level. But if you are brave enough, I've been testing this for how many days already without any problem. But be warned that it could damage the SIM 800L module. Now we are here in my desktop. I already prepared the Arduino sketch. So our software serial is connected to digital pin 2 and pin 3. And we initialize a hardware serial to 9600 baud rate and also the software serial for the SIM 800L uh, serial. Basically, this sketch functions as anything that is available in the serial is forwarded to SIM 800L and anything in the SIM 800L serial is forwarded back to our serial monitor. So let's upload this one. First, make sure that the board is selected which is for our demonstration it is Arduino Uno and the correct serial COM port is properly selected. After that, we hit upload button. Let us just wait until the uploading is complete. Then we can test and demonstrate making a voice call. The uploading is complete. We can open the serial monitor of the Arduino IDE. Now we are ready for the demonstration. We make a voice call by dialing a phone number. So by sending ATD plus 639 639 7 5 9 2 3 1 2 4 3 call. So basically this 80 command means ATD means dial the following mobile number the plus 63 is my country code and the remaining number is my mobile number while the semicolon at the end tells is the end of the command. So after that, we send a carriage return and a line feed or enter. As you can see, the SIM 800L replies with OK. 
and as you can see in my mobile phone it's now ringing so we can cancel that call by sending ATH or hang up so the call is stop now we are ready for to answer an incoming voice call so basically we will use this mobile phone to dial the mobile number of the SIM 800L. So now I'll dial this. Now the SIM 800L is giving a ring uh, serial status. So we will answer the voice call by sending ATA or answer. So now... The voice call is currently ongoing. So to terminate the current voice call, we will send an ATH or hang up. ATH, enter. So the voice call is ended. Now, let us send an SMS to a certain mobile number. So to do that, we will send AT plus CMGF is equal to 1 then enter this is to configure the SIM 800L to text mode try again so the reply is ok now now let us send AT plus CMGS or send message is equal to the mobile number we are going to send the, the SMS then we hit enter or carriage return plus line feed now the SIM 800L replies with the forward arrow. I don't know how do you call this one. So, when you receive this one, you can start typing the message. So, let's say, Hi, from SIM 800L. To end the message, we will send a control Z character so to do that we cannot do directly using our serial monitor we can send we cannot send a control Z I will type I will type control Z but nothing happens or control Z is equivalent to character 026 so I will type alt 026 but nothing happens so the workaround is to open a notepad plus plus so we will create a new one then I will hit alt 026 so the sub sub character should appear so copy this one copy then paste it in the serial monitor so paste then hit enter to send carriage return plus line feed so the sim 800L replies ok and as you can see in my mobile phone we received an SMS so it is written hi from sim 800l and for whatever reason that you decided to cancel the sms you may send an escape character by sending an esc or ascii character 027 to receive an sms we need to type at plus cmgf equal to 1 
to set the SIM 800L to text mode. Then, 80 plus CNMI is equal to 1. So, equal to 1, 2, 0, 0, 0. And, hit enter. So, basically, we configured the SIM 800L to receive and display immediately whatever SMS is being received. So, we will try to send an SMS. I don't know if we can reply using this mobile phone. Let's say, hello from me. And send. Yay! It was received by the SIM 800L. So that's all for now. I hope you like and share this video. And if you have any question, please write it in the comment box. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a good day. Happy tinkering!